the academic institutes at Gulfport High School is uh, um, uh, loosely based on uh, a National Career Academy movement and uh, we've taken the 16 National Career Clusters uh, plus the ones that have been added by the, the state of Mississippi. Um, from those 16 National Career, career Clusters we've broken them down into three mega themes, our Health Sciences, Health and Human Services, Communications, Arts and Business, and our STEM. Um, within each one of those mega themes uh, at Gulfport High School, uh, we've embedded our career and technical programs. Uh, we have three or four in each one of those institutes. And then around the career and technical programs, uh, we have put uh, the academic counterparts. Uh, so in each one of our, uh, each one of our institutes, we have uh, math, science, English and, English and history, our special education, along with our career and technical that all are housed in one building. My job is to serve as liaison between business and industry and the community at large in Gulfport and the school district. Our juniors and seniors have completed most of what they need when they are in the ninth and 10th grade. So they take all the classes that are required for graduation in the state of Mississippi, um, less four or five of them, that they are required to take during their junior and senior year. And what that does is it opens their schedules up and they get to choose which institute they would like to go into. The other thing that we have done is we've partnered with the state of Mississippi and our kids take and work through a computer program. It's called Choices and it starts asking them at young ages. We start this in sixth and seventh grade. Um, just do you like to work with your hands? What do you like to do? Are you a people person? And so it goes through this, these questions that get more and more specific as they get older. And by the time our students hit the 10th grade, we let them choose. What do you think you might want to do um, out of three institutes? One of the reasons I love Gulfport High School is because it caters to every student's needs, uh, their interests more specifically. Um, there's the three different institutes, HHS, CAB and STEM, and the students are separated into the different classrooms, which helps them you know, be surrounded by the, by the students that have similar interests in them. I like the STEM Institute because here uh, the students can not only learn from the teachers, but they can also learn from each other. This school helped me with the career field I wanted to choose. Originally, I didn't know if I wanted to be a teacher or possibly become a veterinarian or something like that. So I chose to go ahead and go in the Teacher Academy Institute. And once I joined that institute, I was sure that being a teacher was what I wanted to do from having the hands-on experience of making lesson plans and working with children. This helped me choose the specific courses I would have to take because I didn't know what grade or what subject I wanted to teach. Um, when I actually became a teacher. So during this program, I got to visit different age groups, different subjects, and I was able to see what I wanted to teach. So I decided that through this, I wanted to teach seventh grade English because I like those students, and I always worked best in English. I understood that the most, and I was able to work well with that. As part of our innovations program, and uh, we started a pilot program this year. Uh, we call it Middle College. It really uh, affords another avenue to a lot of our students, um, a very diverse group of students um, academically and socially and, and those that are involved. Um, the basic criteria is, is, is the 21 on the ACT, meeting the subscores and a, a 3.0 GPA. If they qualify to start uh, our dual credit, dual enrollment uh, process through our local junior college, community college, um, those students can go ahead and start with the college classes. Our goal for those students are to earn a high school diploma and an Associate of Arts degree um, at the end of their senior year of high school. So it's, it's getting those students, uh, so our students will graduate from here with an Associate of Arts degree. With this program, uh, the connections that the institutes have with the real world are like the construction course, they have connections with Ingalls Shipbuilding and so a lot of the students who go through that institute, they get connections in an intern possible internship at Ingalls and so that's like a direct pipeline into students who don't you know don't necessarily want to go down the traditional college path they're allowed to you know feel out their options in life and go down the vocational one where you know they're making money right out of high school because not a college isn't for everyone and we understand that here at Gulfport High School we don't want to force everyone down a single path we want them to have options and I think that's what this 
Institute is about. Like we go to the hospital and we actually get to meet like people who are doing stuff that we are trying to do like for instance physical therapy and they'll sit down and talk to you and they'll tell you the things they had to do to get to where they had to be and, and like you actually get the experience to see if you want to be there instead of going to college for four, like four years to do something that you don't want to be in and it just lets you just get first-hand experience and you know if you want it or not. When I went into, I went into the program, the um, CAB Institute classes, thinking I wanted to be a fashion designer. But in business management technology, when we got to the marketing um, section, I learned about all the different things marketers think about, like when they're talking about their target market, how they um, break, the, break the target market down into demographics, and all that is considered to go into advertisement. That was really interesting to me and that led me down this road of public policy and communications major. So most definitely it's influenced. I like that it offers a lot to the people. Um, it covers basically in the general area what everyone can be interested in and then it narrows it down from the specific institute to specific classes like culinary arts to uh, marketing to um, entrepreneurship. And I just like how it gives everyone an option to pursue what they like to do before they get into the real world and have to choose.